my device has been detected in my PC. Now we can open Odin. You can see here, device has been connected here. Now first of all we have to select BL file that is boot order file. Just click on BL button and go to your firmware. Select BL. It will not take time and you need to select AP. It will take time. So I have fast forward this clip. It has taken around 3 or 4 minutes to load this file completely because it also verify the file. So keep be, be patient here. Now select the CP file and select CP here. Also select CSP file. You can select home file here. Now all file has been selected. Now all file has been uploaded here. Now click on start button. Do not disconnect your data cable while flashing is going on. And in this process you don't need to put your device into download mode because this is already in download mode. So just connect your device and it will detect in Odin. I always recommend that do not disconnect your device while flashing is going on otherwise your device may be break in hard break condition I have fast forward this clip to save time now my flashing has been complete you can see here my device has been restart you, you are seeing this error because we have unlocked our bootloader so I have already made a video on it you can find this video in description your device may be reboot in several time here third time the device has been reboot now it is asking to wipe my data so we can wipe the data just select factory data reset all data in your phone will be delete here so do not do this step if you have some important content in your device otherwise you may lose your important data so I have wiped my device now it is second time so I have phosphorus this clip also it has taken around 5 minutes to complete this process step now you can see here my initial setup has come we have to complete this initial setup just click on next and uh, click next again skip this step if you have a frp log then you will have to enter your gmail account here i do not have any gmail account enter in my device that's why it is not asking to enter we can skip this step just click on next and agree i do not want to set pattern or, or any other security here so we can skip this step also do not want to enter an samsung account so just click on finish now you can see here we have successfully fix our device so if you like this video hit the like button and share this video to your friend now i hope you like the video and see you in next video till then bye